Welcome everyone to the latest edition of Jet Fuel Video. I am Max Marcilla alongside Ryan Camber and Adam Zalanka. It's our first time, all three of us together, for a Jet Fuel Video. And of course, we have to discuss quarterbacks because, I mean, there's no topic more exciting and more polarizing and more divisive than the Jets quarterback dilemma. So we'll start off, the first move the Jets made with their quarterbacks this year was hiring a new quarterbacks coach. New York got Jeremy Bates, who actually worked with Jay Cutler in Chicago and in Denver. Now Bates is the Jets quarterbacks coach. Guys, any coincidence that he coached Cutler? Could we see Cutler in New York? What do you think, Ryan? Look, I think that the Bates hiring, well, it's a good hiring by the Jets. I think that it really doesn't have much to do with the Jets adding Cutler. I think this is just people trying to connect the dots. It's mainly just coincidence. Um, Cutler had almost a career year under offensive coordinator Adam Gase two years ago, and then he had a career high 92.3 QBR. Gase went to Miami, and things just went south for Cutler. He played five games this season due to injury and character issues, was replaced by Matt Barkley. His stock has plummeted, and I just don't see Cutler as an option for the New York Jets. See, I actually wouldn't mind Cutler for the Jets, and not for a long-term deal or anything. He's definitely not the quarterback of the future on the north side of 30. But, I mean, as a one-year veteran, just to fill the gap, give Hackenberg a chance to develop, maybe you'll see what you get in the draft next year, maybe even this year. I wouldn't mind Cutler as a one-year option, but I would agree. I don't think it would be because of Bates. I think it would be because the Jets want to fill the void with a veteran quarterback. Adams, are there any other veteran quarterbacks you could see filling that void? Yeah, definitely. I think with regards to Cutler, and I think this might apply to Tony Romo as well, there are veteran quarterbacks that are the mentor type, and there are the veteran quarterbacks that sort of say, we want to win now, we're going to bring in this big name, like Cutler or like Romo. And the Jets are not in win-now mode at all. So uh, recently I wrote an uh, opinion piece on nyjetfuel.com about five possible veteran options and how they fit. And I sort of rated them with like a report card grade for each of them. So my top two, number two, I had Mike Glennon with a B plus, And number one, I had Tyrod Taylor with an A minus. Pretty similar grades. The reason I like Tyrod Taylor the best as, as a potential fit for the Jets, because Buffalo is reportedly ready to part ways with him already, uh, Taylor... <laughs> We can't get too greedy. Remember, Taylor wrote, I mean, Taylor threw six interceptions in 2016. Ryan Fitzpatrick threw six interceptions in one game of 2016. The Jets should be grateful to get a quarterback like Taylor who's going to minimize mistakes. Now, I do understand the argument that Buffalo's very potent rushing offense led by LaShawn McCoy uh, helped Taylor you know, stay comfortable. But you could do a lot worse than a guy like Tyrod Taylor. He's only 26 years old. And I think he's got more of a future in front of him than if he were to go the 30 and up route like Cutler or Romo. Yeah, I definitely agree. He has a bright future ahead of him. He's 26 years old, you mentioned, but I don't know if that's what the Jets are looking for. They already have two guys on their roster between Hackenberg and Petty who the Jets would like to see as their young quarterback that will you know, change the franchise, so to say. And they could get another one in the draft, whether it be in the first round with Deshaun Watson or one of the top tier quarterbacks. You have a couple guys in the later round, Patrick Mahomes, another option. So I don't know if the Jets are really looking for one of those younger guys. I think there's a couple of veterans out there, though. Uh, you mentioned Taylor and Romo. I could see Romo being a nice, again, a one-year option for the Jets just to try to find some continuity, try to let the young quarterbacks develop under a veteran presence. Do you think that Tony Romo will have a spot in New York, or is there a veteran you like more than that? I think Tony Romo is great and all. I think that he is a win-now quarterback, as Adam said before. Um, I could see him more somewhere like Houston or Denver rather than the Jets. Also, with the Jets' offensive line, he'd get sacked in the first game, and that's all we'd see of him. He'd probably get injured. Um, so for the veteran quarterback, I'm going to have to agree with Adam on the fact that Tyrod Taylor is a great option. I don't know why the Bills soured on him all of a sudden. I get that he wasn't as good as he was two years ago. However, this is a league in which there are only about 20 like quarterbacks that are legitimate, and I would easily put Tyrod Taylor in that category. He, is, he has proven that he could have success at the NFL level. He is exciting, and I think that he is just a good option for the Jets if the Bills decide to part ways with him. I mean, we've seen the Jets try the free agency route for quarterbacks seemingly every year. Most recently, Ryan Fitzpatrick two years ago. Then they re-signed him again last year. Maybe there's a little skepticism about finding a quarterback, but this would be different with Taylor because he is younger. I still think that the draft is an option 
I think there's a couple of quarterbacks at the top of the draft that the Jets would be happy with. I just don't know if they're willing to spend a number six pick, and I'm not sure if the quarterbacks are worthy of a number six pick. But the Jets have a lot of options, so we're going to go to our Twitter questions because, of course, Jets fans love to speculate and really want to know who's going to be under center because, we'll be honest, none of us know. I'm not even sure if Mike McCagnan knows. It's who knows, but that's the theme of the quarterback video. Uh, but we'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll start off with a Twitter question from Paul Newbold. Paul writes, if Glennon, Mike Glennon comes in to start for the Jets, do you think he's a fit for the West Coast offense? The Jets have a new offensive coordinator, John Morton. He does run a little bit more of a West Coast offense than Chan Gailey. We could see some more tight end action. We could see some more uh, passing. So do you think Glennon is a viable option? I think Glennon is a solid quarterback from what we've seen. Obviously, Tampa has no use for him with the way that Jameis Winston has been developing. Uh, what I think about Glennon, I think for the right price, I think he would be a good fit in the Jets' offense. But this is where we have to be careful if you're a general manager. We've seen the exact same thing happen last season with Brock Osweiler, a relatively unproven backup, sign a big deal. Houston is paying for it in more ways than one. And this is just a Jets team that doesn't need to get in that situation. They're not looking to contend next year. Um, they just should not overpay for a quarterback, especially one as unproven as Mike Glennon. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you mentioned there's only 20 or so quarterbacks worthy of that starting job. Well, what happens to number 21? Well, they get paid. Brock Osweiler got paid, and he didn't lead the team to the playoffs. That was the defense. The defense was very good for Houston. I don't think the Jets will want to make that mistake, and I don't think they will. I think Glennon is a good prospect. I could see him being a starting quarterback down the road. Of course, very limited time in Tampa Bay, but I'm just not sure he's the right fit for the Jets. So our next question, we'll move on to Facebook, the other social media. By the way, make sure to follow. So Twitter, at New York Jet Fuel, Facebook.com slash NY Jet Fuel. Give us a like, a follow, a retweet, whatever your heart desires. We appreciate it. So Adam, our next question comes from Facebook. It is from Greg, and he writes, any interest in A.J. McCarron? What are your thoughts? A.J. McCarron, currently in Cincinnati Bengal. I don't know if the team would have any interest. I certainly don't. Uh, I don't really understand the interest or the obsession with certain players like A.J. McCarron is one of them uh, among Jets fans. From what I understand, he only had limited appearances in 2015 for the Bengals when Andy Dalton left for the season with an injury. He even played in that Steelers-Bengals uh, wildcard round game a couple of seasons ago. Uh, he didn't look bad, but that's it's such a small sample size of what we think he can do or not do. And don't forget, the Jets have already had an Alabama quarterback with the uh, Mick beginning of his name, uh, Greg McElroy, I'm talking about uh, just a couple seasons ago. Alabama quarterbacks generally don't pan out in the NFL, don't want a stereotype. But to trade for McCarron with a draft pick, which is going to, first of all, be strange to try to figure out, because McCarron was a fifth round pick a couple of years ago. Do you use a fifth rounder to get him? Is he going to, are the Bengals going to look for more? Because the Jets don't have a fourth rounder in this coming draft. Uh, even if you were able to pull off a trade for him, I think you'd just be adding a young, unproven quarterback to a stable of young, unproven quarterbacks. So I'm not interested. The Jets, they know a lot about young, unproven quarterbacks. They got two on the roster right now. Bryce Petty, Christian Hackenberg. Petty, the third-year pro out of Baylor. And he got his chance to start a couple of games, but in a very vanilla offense, I would describe it. Not a lot of downfield passing, a lot of screens, and a lot of running the ball. Of course, didn't have a lot of talent around him. So really, didn't have a great chance, but he had his chance and didn't do much with it. Meanwhile, Christian Hackenberg pretty much had a red shirt year. Didn't touch the field, not even in the preseason. I don't think it was ever a thought that the Jets would let him touch the field. So if you guys were to pick, and this is our next question, it comes from Devin. If you get a veteran to start, and then you have a chance to groom these two young quarterbacks, between Petty and Hackenberg, which one do you guys think has a better chance of being the future of the Jets? Look, I'm not completely sold on either Petty nor Hackenberg, but if I have to pick one, I'm probably going to go with uh, the Christian Hackenberg out of Penn State, mainly because he's out of Penn State. He runs a more pro-style offense than Bryce Petty ran at Baylor. Most Big 12 offenses are not very nfl uh, similar, it, especially if you look at Texas Tech on the subject of Patrick Mahomes. But I think Hackenberg, we've seen his potential. He was, I mean, before last season, people were projecting him as a first-round pick quarterback. Obviously, that didn't pan out. He's had some accuracy issues. But between him and Petty, I think that Hackenberg has more potential if we can groom him into a franchise QB. 
I agree. I think it's hard to say that Petty will be anything more than a backup. I mean, just based off what the Jets saw out of him the last you know month or so of the season, I think Petty could be a decent NFL backup. I don't think he's much more than that. Do I think Hackenberg's going to be the future of the franchise or even a good NFL starter? I'm not sure, just because we haven't seen him. But I, I think that Hackenberg has the better chance. He had a great season his freshman year. Then they, the Penn State Nittany Lions lost Bill O'Brien, kind of got lost in the shuffle and really struggled. I think Hackenberg provides the better chance, but I wouldn't bank on either of them. That's what makes the situation so interesting. Adam, what are your thoughts? I agree with both of you. I don't know if I have very much more to add about the situation. Completely agree with Ryan with what you said about Petty's college style versus Hackenberg's college style. Uh, can't We can't really trust either of them yet, but that's why they're developmental project type quarterbacks, especially in Hackenberg's case. So let me instead use this time to just speak directly to Jets fan nation and listen to me for just one minute. <laughs> the, the fact that Christian Hackenberg was picked too high in the second round last year is not Christian Hackenberg's fault. And to think that the, the reason, there's some reason Hackenberg didn't touch the field, it's because he's so terrible, is really reading too closely in between the lines, trying to find something that's not there. Don't count Hackenberg out until we actually see something from him that actually gives us some visual evidence to say we can count him out now. I still have a small glimmer of hope because I'm the most optimistic Jets fan on earth I have a small glimmer of hope that Hackenberg could develop into a starting quarterback for the Jets in a couple years. We don't know for sure yet. I just, uh, I'd be echoing Ryan and Max more if I just said, we don't know yet. We don't know anything, but we know something. So we're going we're gonna to have to see. But don't just tear Hackenberg down until you see him either fail or succeed. This will be a big season for Hackenberg. He will probably get some preseason reps. I would have to imagine year two, you, you let the, you, you would hope. Uh, I don't know if we'll see him in the regular season, but we'll at least see number five on the field at some point. Busy off season. We got the draft coming up, free agency coming up. So I want to ask all you guys to visit nyjetfuel.com for the latest content. Adam just recently wrote a piece on the veteran quarterbacks, some of whom we've discussed. Ryan just wrote a piece about Bruce Carter, linebacker and special teams extraordinaire, and whether he will return to the Jets. And I just wrote a piece today that got published on Sheldon Richardson and the future of him in green and white. So be sure to check out nyjetfuel.com. We've got the draft coming up. We'll get some quarterback previews. It'll be a fun offseason. It always is with the Jets. Again, alongside Adam and Ryan, I'm Max. Thank you for watching the Jet Fuel video.